I forgot to hit record on the camera. No big deal. Not a big deal. The podcast hasn't even begun yet. I was just talking about the new set. So for those on the YouTube community who are just tuning in, uh, which you have no choice because I just hit record, this is the new, and I discovered that if you talk on this side of the mic, compared to this side of the mic, there's a difference. But maybe this side is better. I'm hearing weird noises. Maybe this side is better. Hello? Maybe. I don't know. What if I put it, like, right here? Ta-da! Who cares? Does anybody really care? Hello? Ta-da! <laughs> what a shitty podcast. <laughs> what a shit podcast this is, this is turning out to be. Alrighty then. So we got our cards again. We got two cards. Well, we have one and a little bit of one. One lime. Gizmo! I have a pussy cat named Gizmo. Nobody's tuning in. Oh, don't worry. I've got uh, I've got plans to, to add viewers. I've got fucking... Ow, I hit my chin. I've got plans. Card number one. Tick number one. People always saying, follow your dreams. Okay, one sec. Testicle test. This is this is the way better side. This is the way better. I think. I think. Can I hear? Ow! Hello? This is your grandma speaking. Please come to the front desk. This is your grandma. James Nelson, come to the front desk. This is your grandma speaking. Yeah, okay, I'll stick with this side. The follow your dream thing. What did I have in store for this? Uh, I don't fucking remember. People always say and follow your dreams. I I obviously had a negative thought about it. I used to always like that thought. The follow your dreams. Oh, it's so peaceful. Because we all had dreams as a kid. Well, not all of us. I know some people who grew up in a certain environment and then they uh, 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 adopted... The thing that their parents were doing, even though that wasn't really what they wanted to do. Or maybe it was. Well, we're all... We're all we all start off as just a, a big piece of mold. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, no, we start off as a mo uh, uh, piece of clay. To be molded. Did I just vibrate? Oh, that's why. My phone vibrated. It felt like I vibrated. So, uh, we start off as this baby. This moldy baby. <laughs> uh, we could grow up to like anything. I could grow up to be homeless. If I was raised with uh, a gremlin and a heroin addict. But if I, you know, or I could have grew up to be a, a nurse, if I grew up with two gay guys, it all depends on what happens in your life. So, follow your dreams. What the fuck? I can't even, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to procrastinate to try to remember what I wanted to talk about when I said, people always saying, follow your dreams, follow, oh yes. Follow your dreams. So, uh, I guess what I was thinking about was sports. Specifically, we'll talk about sports to use a good example. Let's say you really want to play basketball, okay? And you want to be on the NBA. But you're a midget. You're an actual midget. And you want to be on the NBA. 
There are people out there who would say, if you believe anything could happen, and they would tell this midget, and the midget would believe it, and try to go beyond the NBA. But that ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen ever, 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 no matter what the fuck this midget does. Unless, oops, unless, unless he can uh, find some growth serum. This motherfucker's not playing basketball in the NBA! You feel me? That's, that's really what I was trying to get across. That not every dream is accessible just because you really believe in it. You can't always accomplish your dreams. Right, Gizmo? She answers me every time. I got a fucking booger in my nose, and I would like someone to get it out. Boogers in my nose, boogers in my nose, boogers in my nose. I gotta get the boogers out of my nose. <laughs> I look like I look like I just snorted some coke or something. People are gonna think that now. Because I'm, I'm quite the odd fella. I got snots in my nose. I can feel them. They're crusty and hard. And it's a big one. And it's glomming to the side of my nostril. Driving me crazy. Well, uh, back to... Oh, this is... Uh, I gotta let the puss puss out. Intermission. You're such an asshole. You're an asshole. Bopski, bop, scoop, bop, ski, bop, scoop, bop, 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 Hello? Testicle, testicle? Wow, there's such a delay on my computer. Uh huh, uh huh. So, so, what did we learn in our first lesson of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast? It's don't follow your dreams, bitch! Eastside Mario's. I'm not actually sponsored by Eastside Mario's. Uh, I don't have a single sponsor. But if you want a sponsor, don't bother because I have no viewers. Next tick. I was in a hotel room where people fucked in the opposite bed. Excuse me. Just one sec. It's a booger. It's the boogers again. Okay, boogers are done forever. I will never talk about them ever again. I'm so sorry. I'm ill prepared. It's been a few days since I did a podcast, and I should be I should be do. But I had I had a little clum- conundrum because the microphones weren't working, so I had to kind of stockpile some some uh, podcasts and not upload them. <coughs> oh, that's what I needed. That's what I needed. So yeah. But now I'm back in the groove, and the groove is flowing. And when you're in the flow, you got to stay with it. Because if you fuck off and fuck off on the side and clip your head in the dirt, you're done for. Done for. I had a kid in my class with the last name Done For. You know who you are. You know who you are. For those who are wondering, I'm wearing the sunglasses because there's two cameras and three screens and they all have my face on it. And it really fucks me up and it fucks you people up because you don't know which camera I'm looking at. Or sometimes I spend too much time paying attention to this camera when I should be paying attention to this camera. But then I got this. Okay, enough. Back to the tick number two. I was in a hotel room where people fucked. They fucked like rabbits. So I think, when was it? Was it Halloween? No, it wasn't Halloween. It was New Year's. 
this year. Ooh, I don't want to talk about this. <sighs> what I'm going to. I was <laughs> after after a rave in Calgary, Calgary, however you want to pronounce it. Well, wow, I can't even remember what it was called. But anyway, afterwards we shared a hotel room with uh how how many people? One, two, four. There was four people. Five total, including me. Uh one guy slept on the cot. One guy slept in the bed with me. Not sexually. Not sexually. Don't get it twisted. Not sexually. And then there was a female and a male in the opposite bed, and they were boppity boopitying for about, well, it felt like a stinky two hours. And then the rest of the night was pretty stinky, but I think my, my nose got accustomed to the smell because that happens, but you hear a lot of like, a, you know, sloppy noises. And then they stop for a bit because they, because uh, <laughs> they hear people. But that happened. I was in a hotel room where people had sex. I'm not gonna tell you what happened afterwards. But that's as far as I'll go. Next, Jim Carrey. Who's familiar with Jim Carrey? Is in a Terrence McKenna uh, documentary. It's called True Hallucinations. He's playing Terrence McKenna in a documentary called True Hallucinations. Okay? Because, I guess, uh, Jim, Jim Carrey took some mushrooms, supposedly. I don't know the full story. Whoopsies. And he had a he had a cool experience, and now he wants to play Terrence McKenna. Who here knows Terrence McKenna? Raise your paws. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So yeah, that's all. I just wanted to bring that up, I guess. And this next tick I kind of threw in afterwards. I had I had the full list done and then I came back later and I threw this one in. Nickelback. Nickelback. I know how much the internet loves Nickelback. The you couldn't live without them. They're your favorite band. I just know it. I know it. I know it. I know it. But is this e no one is this even something worth saying? Before I say it, I'll just say it first, and then I'll say something else. I live very close to the town that Chad Kruger grew up in, but now that I think about it, that's what I wanted to. That's why I wanted to bring up Nickelback just for that. But now that I think about it, people watching in anywhere in the U.S., mostly in Los Angeles, if they hear me saying that, they're not going to give a shit because they live next to every celebrity pretty much ever. You know what I'm saying? So it's different when you're living in Canada. When you live in Canada, you drive into this small town in Alberta. And it says, home of Nickelback's Chad Kruger. They're so proud. And he shot his video, his music video, photograph in the video of Hannah, in of in the in the town of Hannah. That's what the town is called, Hannah, Hannah Banana, Bobana. Boop boop. Uh, R two D two is in my uh, brain right now. I've never seen Star Wars. I plan on it eventually. You like it when I breathe into the mic? Yeah, me too. I fucking love it. That's why I do it. That is why I do it. If you're wondering what the words are on the backdrop, 
I'm not going to tell you because I don't really care. I just bought it. I just bought the motherfucker. It was the coolest one. They were all shitty. Now, this one sucked. I hate this one. How? 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 What's the word I'm looking for? Cheesy. Corny. Look at it. Epidemic. Epidemic. Conditions. Severity. Listen, buddy. Population requires species. What else does that say? It says overpopulation requires species. Wow. There's like a whole Illuminati message in my friggin' backdrop. It literally says what I just said. But I can't see the rest of it because... There's three Eminem CDs, a Snoop Dogg, a Dr. Dre, Ice Cube Nirvana, and uh, Tyler the Creator in the way. I still got boogers. I'm sorry. They'll be out by tomorrow. They'll fall out of my mouth while I'm sleeping. And I'll flick them up with my lip. And they'll go in my mouth. And I'll swallow. Hey, you can actually see it in the camera. The overpopulation requires species. What is that word? I don't know. I can't read it, boy. I hate saying that. It just comes out. The boy thing? I don't know why I say it. Oh, what is this? Okay. Who remembers Rebecca Black? Rebecca Slack Black. Titties backwards. Smack Jack Rack. Higgity back smack Jack Whack. Rebecca Black. Fat Cat Mac. <laughs> Y'all remember Rebecca Black? Okay. Friday. Friday. Gotta get down. On fr okay, yeah. Well, uh, uh, have you seen her now? How many people are still up to date with her? Because she is a sexy... Ooh, she is sexy. She is sexy. I would have sex with Rebecca Black if she was here. That's how much I think she's sexy. And she's not that bad of a singer. Okay? She was. How old was she when she did Friday? Like 12? Okay? 12-year-olds do some dumb stuff. But now she's uh, well over the age limit. I'll drop my cork again. Ah, Rebecca Black. If you're out there, send me a DM. Got two cameras to do. Becca, Rebecca, <laughs> Rebecca Black, <clears throat> come on my show, Rebecca. That's all I had to say. It's good at a, It's good to step out of your comfort zone. Comfort zone, Doctor Phil. What do I have to say about this guy? Nothing. I was just referencing him because he once said, uh, once a week. Rearrange one of your rooms, whether it be your living room, your kitchen, your bedroom, your spare room, your attic, your office, something. Just rearrange it once a week. And I like that idea. It's, it relates to this idea of having to step out of your comfort zone. If you get too comfortable in a situation, you're not going to want to step out of it. But someday you're going to have to. And when you do, guess what? It's going to feel like someone dumped a pile of garbage on your head. And you're not going to want to leave the comfort zone. And then someone's going to force you. And then you're going to explode. Herpes go everywhere because you have herpes now. That's what happens when you don't step out of your comfort zone. You get a little bit of herpes. So, 
you don't have to do it once a week, but at least once a month, rearrange one of your bedrooms, <laughs> one of your rooms in your place of living, uh, or else you'll get herpes. That's not the truth, but uh, the idea, the message I'm trying to get across is the comfort zone. Step out. I kept licking this microphone. Well, not licking it, but my lips were touching it. And then I would lick my lips. And now I feel like I'm... I feel... I can taste it. Listen to how this... It's so sensitive. Sensi. Sensi. What is a sensi? There's something called a sensi. Probably some sort of stupid candle. What is the next topic, please? Oh, we're almost out of topics. I can think of some more stuff. Ugh. If heaven and hell were real. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Robert Gumphrey, and I work for the Church of West Mount Juro High. You see, people come to me a lot and they ask, Is, uh, is heaven and hell, uh, are they really real? And I'm like, uh, yeah, man. It's pretty real, I think. I've been there a few times. I'm back now. You know what I'm saying? Um. No, I don't know. But if I were to guess, I would say that, uh, heaven. Heaven, heaven, and hell. Would I say that they are real? I would say no. Not in the sense that we picture them. I don't think there's a demon who's on fire, lives in fire, and he's got horns and he's evil and he cooks people and shit. And then the heaven, there's a god with a bunch of angels and Jesus and stuff like that up in the clouds. Or in the universe, wherever it is. That's not what it is. Now, if the Bible came from something that was, happened to be true, right before that uh, species got wiped out, then, uh, what am I trying to say here? Mozzarella. I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. And when I lose my train of thought, I say mozzarella. Species. Ah, fuck. Totally lost what I was going to say. Oh, Canada. Okay, all you Americans, we're going to learn oh, Canada, since I can't remember my species, my species, uh, my species. Fuck! What's the fucking word? Lecture. So. Oh, Christ. So it's all tangled. It's all fucking tangled. Uh. So when a professor is giving a uh, lecture. They're not allowed to get high. You want to know why? Because they'll lose their train of thought and they, uh, they'll start talking about other stuff. I was going to talk about something else and now I can't even remember it. Well, whatever. <laughs> okay, let's just talk about heaven and hell. Let's really talk about heaven and hell. Since this is a boring ass podcast. Who the fuck is Big Comfy Crotch? Do I like comfy crotches? Dr. F- 
How long? I, I I wasn't even looking at the chat because I was so used to not having anyone here. And now there's someone here named Big Comfy Crotch. You must be Canadian. Is that a reference to Big Comfy Couch? To the B? Ah, uh, the B? The B, the bump, 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 and you don't get the bop, do the bang, bang, boogie, set up, chop the boogie. The boogie to the boogie the B. I don't know the words. Where was I? If heaven and hell were real. You fucking get me off track. Big comfy crotch. You're pissing me off, big boy. Just kidding. What do you think, big comfy crotch? What are your thoughts on heaven and hell? I didn't write the cards. I didn't write them. I was just reading the. I was just reading all the bullshit he was saying. I'm not gonna talk about heaven and hell because it is a stupid topic. When that girl did the clock thing, that was hot. What clock thing? What girl? There is no clock and there is no girl. Okay, Steve-O was talking about this story. I seen the devil on Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. That was Dave Grohl. You know, you know who Dave Grohl is from uh, Nirvana and then the Foo Fighters? That's Dave Grohl. He's my best friend. Where was I? Steve-O was talking, telling a story when he was in, in the insane asylum. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. The big comfy couch. When she does the clock thing, that was pretty hot. Because her vagina would spread open and close. Where was I? Why do you think Dave Grohl's a homo? So, there was a guy in the insane asylum at Steve's when Steve was in the insane asylum who <laughs> took a shit on the floor and then was breakdancing in the shit. And I, I don't know, it made me laugh pretty hard last night, breakdancing in the shit. It'd be something, it'd be something funny to imagine. You know, you know the big comfy couch girl, she's she's still not that bad looking. I've looked her up within the last year. She pops into my head every once in a while. If you don't know who the big comfy couch girl is. Oh, here's a good one. Here's a good little tick. A big comfy crotch. Um, have you ever been in a, in a hotel room where someone's snoring in the opposite bed? Well, some people find that quite annoying. I am the kind of person who would find that annoying for the longest time. But Steve-O also brought to my attention that if someone is in the opposite bed snoring, it could be used as a good thing. Because that's a guarantee that you can, you can jerk off completely. If someone's snoring, you know you're safe to jerk off. It's totally cool. But if they're just sleeping... You never know if they're awake. They could be awake and they're going to hear you. And they could hear you. But if they're snoring, as long as they're snoring, you can keep you can keep spanking the monkey. But as soon as they stop snoring, well then you're fucked. Well, not really, unless they wake up. You shoved your wiener in his nose. <laughs> did you did it did it turn you on? That's the real question. When you shoved your wiener in his nose, did you get turned on? Anyway. Next next fucking topic. We have uh, uh people around town who like to drive around with subwoofers 
in the trunk of their car and they blast their electronic music or rap and rattles the car and you just hear it for you hear it all the way down the road and it rattles people's chests if you hate it you hate it a lot of people hate it i've heard people say they hate it i'm not the one who hates it because i'm the one who does it and i wanted to bring it up because <laughs> although it's a douchebag thing to do i i like doing it Wait a minute. So you did get turned on? And you peed on him. You got turned on and you peed on him. I feel like there's a huge delay. There probably is. Between between the time I get the chat question and the actual time I answer the question. There's definitely a delay. How long have we been doing this? 39 fucking minutes. And uh, we're on to the last fucking stupid card. What do we got vibrating now? Fuck off. Yeah, I got boogers. Big comfy crotch. Yeah, you peed in his nose. I get it. You don't have to keep telling me. Okay, so the last card. And big comfy crotch. You're going to know about this one. Because I can tell you're Canadian. Because you're familiar with the big comfy couch. Or in your case, crotch. Big comfy crotch. What's up with that? With guys just going in these chat rooms just to troll. Why is there so much of that? Is it all just little 14-year-olds? Like, aren't we past that now? Haven't we all grown up? Haven't we all grown up and got into a place where we can just watch a video and not talk about pissing in their uh, fellow campers' noses and getting turned on? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Dynamite Gizmo. That's, that's, a, that's a new one. I've heard that one before. You're going to have to come up with a new one. Way more clever than that. <laughs> on welfare. How'd you know I'm on welfare, bitch? I'm just kidding. I'm not on welfare. Fuck you, ho. I got a job. What the fuck do you have? <laughs> I'm not saying you in particular. I'm just I'm just uh I'm just using you as an example just to get the message across. I'm not I'm not trying to be too harsh on you. You got to take it easy. Why don't you just cool your jets and let's all be civil and let's all be friendly here. Oh uh, yeah, look at that. That's a nice little comment there. <laughs> I like how you talk. I like how you talk, Big Comfy Crotch. Big Comfy Crotch in the house. Okay, Big Comfy Crotch, you're distracting me. Like I was saying, you're Canadian, so you're going to know about this topic. It's uh, The final one is Pingu. Pengu. You remember that bitch? Pengu. Uh, <laughs> that fucking penguin made out of clay. That that TV show. I used to watch it every day before. Uh, what the fuck? Before school, before kindergarten, or whatever you want to call it. I would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the only reason. My voice is deep is because I was using this side of the microphone and I discovered Yeah, that's it. But anyway, this side of the microphone's deep and then this side is more like harsh and raspy. And I've been using this side all along when I should have been using this side. 
You know what I'm saying? And people think this is uh, Marilyn Monroe on my shirt, but it's not. Guess who it is, Big Comfy Crotch. I am part black. You want to see my dick? That's the only part that counts, really. Why was I bringing up Pengu? Because I would watch it before school, and Roly Poly Oli would come on. Roly Poly Oli. He's short and fat. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'll probably go... Maybe past 50 minutes. I'm not sure. It's not Selena Gomez. Are you fucking kidding me? Does this even look like Selena Gomez? Selena Gomez has a little has a little brown Mexican in her because her last name's Gomez. This girl is completely white. But I actually think it is <laughs> Marilyn Monroe. Oh, I fucking ran out of shit. So this is the eighth one. I've got... I'm supposed to do 1,000 of these. That's what my uh, Buddhist monk told me. He sat me down. He put this uh, grease in my hair. And then he lit my hair on fire. And he said, stay here for a few days without food. So I was like, all right. It got a little hot. But then uh, after the three days was up, he came in with a scroll. He opened it up. And he read this stupid poem. Basically saying that I had to make 1,000 podcasts. So that's what I'm doing. What are you talking about now, big comfy crotch? You can't see anything? That's what I'll use this fucking backdrop for. Whoops. So that if people want to have eye exams, I'll just let them read these. These cords are pissing me off. I tried to go Bluetooth, I tried to go wireless, but there's such a major delay between when I talk and when they reach my headphones that you just get this, uh, it's very hard to talk, basically is what I'm trying to say. Rhett and Link on YouTube have a whole series dedicated to, to doing that. These, these are not going to come untangled. Cock, fuck me sideways. What am I doing with this washer anyway? This washer belongs under the set. Oh, it's only been like one minute. Since I last checked. I'm probably going to cut her short. Oh, God. I'm taking over this podcast. Hands up, pants down now. I'm the sex police. I'm like Ray Charles, except I'm white and have rights. Well, say hello to Big Comfy Crotch, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm peacing. That's it for this episode of the Dynamite Gizmo podcast. I hope you enjoyed it, Big Comfy Crotch. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.